Hey everybody and welcome back to Joy with Jen. I'm Jen and I'm back today with a little design inspiration and it is based on our Blue Skies bracelet kit. These are now on my store. I am now offering um, bracelet kits and this is just one of several that I'm cooking up. Um, but this is currently on my store and it's called the Blue Skies Bracelet. And it's an adorable bracelet. It's really, really quite beautiful. Beautiful for this um, time of year. And of course your kit comes with everything in front of me. And I thought I would show you um, an example of how you can put one of these bracelets together. They're super easy, they're super fun. You can even do them with your kids. Not a lot of skill really required. Very basic, um, beginner-friendly bracelets. And, of course, they're going to come just like this in a cute little bag. Um, so if you wanted to do a gift, you could... You were ready to get your little gift bag. Um, so let's get into it. So welcome, guys. Thank you so much for joining today. I am Jen. If you are new to my channel, welcome aboard. Thank you for joining me today. And welcome back to all of my YouTube family. So guys, what we are getting into is the Blue Sky Bracelet Kit. And what is included in your kit is I'm actually giving you... So we're going to have silver bases. So I'm going to do some... Um, you'll get some um, uh, Tiger Tail 38, uh, 0.38 millimeter in silver. And then as a bonus, I'm giving you um, some of the blue Tiger Tail. And it's just this gorgeous, gorgeous blue. And it's also 0.38 millimeter. And I think I give you 14 inches of that in the kit. Plenty enough to make a bracelet. Um, then you're going to get two crimps in silver. And then you'll get a magnetic clasp with the um, two four millimeter jump rings. And, you know, of course, magnetic clasps are super great. I love them for bracelets when I'm not making stretch. <laughs> um, so you'll get a nice magnetic clasp. You get two silver wire guardians in your kit. And then you get your blue, fro they're actually called sky blue frosted. These are glass beads. They're eight millimeter. You receive, I think there's 11. You receive eight of the seafoam rondelles and they are faceted and they're just, I think there's eight of them and they're just beautiful. And they're these greens and blues and whites and grays and they're just gorgeous. And then you receive two of these beautiful 10 millimeter lamp work beads um, they are absolutely gorgeous. They're faceted. They have blue on the inside with pink flowers. Just absolutely precious. There's some green leaves in there as well. They're just really, really beautiful. So you get two 10 millimeter uh, lampwork beads. And I believe they're the silver spaces. There's, I think, four, 12 or 14, something like that. I think there's 14. Yeah. So... That's what you get in your kit. So you, everything that you need to accomplish this bracelet. So let's get started. I'm gonna, just for the fun of it, I am gonna go ahead and let's use the blue, just for some fun. Let's mix it up. So we're gonna use some of the blue tiger tail that you will receive in this kit. I have a little bit of a bend there, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then what I do is I like to just go ahead and finish off one side first. And you don't have to do this. You know, you can, you know, make these any way you want. But I like to finish one side off first. So I'm going to put a crimp on. And then I'm going to feed my wire um, up the channel of the wire guardian. Up and over the horseshoe. Down the channel on the other side of the wire guardian. And then... Uh, with that tail out there, we are going to grab our clasp with the jump ring on it. I've already attached my jump rings. Your jump rings come with your kit, by the way, guys. Um, and you can actually attach the clasp right to the bracelet. You do not have to use the jump rings. But I um, included them. I just already pre-put mine on my clasp here. Um, but you don't have to do that. And then we'll feed our tail 
through the crimp. And then we'll pull that down a little bit. Pull the crimp up, squeeze our wire guardian together, push the crimp up to meet the wire guardian. Make sure that our wires are not crossed. There we go. And then we'll give that a squeeze. And these are really great crimps, guys. You only need to crimp them once squeeze them once. You don't have to turn them over. You can. You can also use a crimp cover if you want, but these are really good crimps. Um, do your tug tests. It's perfect. Um, very, very good crimps. They work very well. So now I have my one side finished off there, as you can see, with my clasp attached to my jump ring. That's fed on my wire guardian, and there's my crimp. So now we've got one side already finished off. And now we just get to do the fun stuff, coming up with a fun pattern. <laughs> so I think I'm going to take a frosted bead first and then a spacer. I, I got the little daisy spacers here. I'm going to feed that bead through the tail there as well as that spacer. It'll probably keep coming loose until I get some more beads on here. And what to do, what to do. Oh, let's see. Maybe I'll just do another bead, another blue, and then another spacer. And then I think I'll do one of my seafoam rondelles. And now let me see if I can get that tucked in. There we go. And so then... I suppose I will do another, maybe I'll do a blue bead and then a spacer and then another blue bead and then another one of my seafoam rondelles and see, maybe we'll just do another blue. And then we'll do another sea foam. And then we'll do a spacer. And then a lamp work. And then a spacer. Oh yeah, I like that. That looks really pretty. And maybe we'll just continue that on the other side. And then, so then we'll do another rondel here. And then we'll do a blue. And then another rondel. That looks pretty. And then maybe we'll do a spacer. And then another lamp work. And then another spacer. I'm almost wanting to put a spacer there. I'm gonna take that back apart. I just changed my mind. I wanna put a spacer right there in between those beads. So I wanna go there and then I wanna do a spacer on either side, yeah. So I'm just gonna add that spacer there for my center lamp work focal area here that I'm trying to accomplish. <laughs> There's so many fun ways you can put these bracelets together, guys. They're just absolutely so fun. I love, love, love this color palette. They're just precious beads as well. They just, they work really well together. And perfect for summer, obviously. So yeah, so there we go. And now I have another rondel. No, and then I have another spacer, and then another rondo, and then a spacer, and then another lamp work. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty. And then another spacer. Yeah, I'm liking that. That looks pretty. That looks really pretty. Mm-hmm. Yep, I think so. 
I'm thinking so. so. Then I'll do a spacer there. And then I'll do a blue bead. And then another rondo. And then another blue bead. And then a spacer. And then another blue. And then another rondo. And then a spacer. And then blue bead. And then a spacer and our last blue bead. Let's see how that turned out. Oh my gosh, I cannot. That is so pretty. That is just precious. Look at how pretty that is. I love that. And there's so many ways you can design these. I mean, obviously. You could do just solid runs. You could do color blocking. You could put the two lamp work beads together in the center. Got a little too much wire here. I'm going to just flush cut. So now we just finish it off. And so we add a crimp. And then we'll feed on our wire guardian. And down the other side of our horseshoe here. And the other side of our clasp. And like I said, again, you know, I pre-fed my jump rings on my clasp, but you know, you can feed um, these clasps will fit right through the wire guardian. So you don't have to use the jump rings if you don't want. You could, you know, take if you've got some other beads in your stash and use those jump rings to add like a cute little dangle as well. That would be really cute. That'd be a super cute idea. But these are just adorable and they come with everything you need to make a really quick, fun bracelet project. Let's squeeze our wire guardian together there, guys. And we're just gonna put it like this in like a half circle in order to pull that tight and pull that down where we're nice and flush. Make sure you're doing that in a circle like that. Also make sure you're flush over here, which I see I'm not, that just popped through. A little tail there, so let me get that in there. And then let me get you pulled down a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. And now we can go ahead and crimp that off. And again, these are really great crimps, guys. You don't even have to do them twice. Um, turning them, they're just great. They hold nice and strong. You can, of course, use crimp covers, like I said, if you want to cover those up. We're going to flush cut that wire off. Get rid of that. And there we go. In like 10 minutes, we have the Blue Skies bracelet. So cute. Isn't that precious, you guys? Isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful. I just love, love, love this. And of course, when you're putting it on, super easy with that magnetic clasp. And it's just absolutely darling. So I hope you guys enjoyed that design inspiration of these beautiful blue sky bracelets. Um, you can pop over to my store. I'll link it in the video to pick up a kit that includes everything to make your own. You can um, design these any way you want. Or if you maybe just like some of the uh, beads, um, I do actually have all of these components also on my site. Um, the clasp, the wire guardians, the wire, uh, the beads, this beautiful sea foam, rondelles, the, the sky blue frosted, all of these are on my store. If you want to just pick up the beads too and come up with something of your own, you can do that as well. Or you can just get the kit and you can even gift that to somebody or, um, you know, make it with a friend, you know, buy a couple bags and have a little bracelet party. They really make really great gifts for like birthdays and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy. They're so fun. They're super cute, super easy and quick to do um, and perfect for the summer. So thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Until next time, be well.